Is this the best vegan mozzarella? A lot of people seem to think so, and I haven't tried it yet. I wanted to give it a try and see how it tastes, how it cooks, melts. Is it cheesy enough? Now, I've also seen a ton of people making their own versions, and a lot of them seem to be fairly complicated, and some of them seem to come out fairly easy. So I wanted to see, can we make this? I mean, it has a fairly easy ingredients list. I think it's gonna be easy, so let's make it. But first, we need to make some pizza dough. So we're gonna be making two 260 gram pizza balls, uh, dough balls, and I want this to be about 60% hydration. Uh, so this is gonna be pretty simple. I'm bringing the camera in so you can see all of my measurements. Uh, we're gonna start with about 319 to 320 grams of flour. We're gonna use about 9.5 to 10 grams of salt and about 5.5 grams of yeast. Now you can just use the entire package. That's like a seven gram package. Uh, that's just gonna make it leaven just a little bit quicker. Now I'm gonna bring in the stand mixer. You could do this by hand. I have a stand mixer, so I'm gonna use it. If you have one, you're gonna use it. Now I'm gonna attach the dough hook and we're gonna be using about 191 to 200 milliliters of water. Get that thing spinning up and just kind of spin it until the dough doesn't stick to the side of the bowl. It's gonna pick up all of the, the dough and that's about it. That's all you need. So now we just wanna bring it onto the counter to work it out a little bit. Make sure you tell it it's a good dough ball. And I'm not gonna do much. I'm just gonna fold it into itself, press it down in. I'm not doing a whole lot of kneading here. That's not really what this is. We're just gonna roll it into a ball, throw in some olive oil. Whoop, not too aggressive. Are you gonna get olive oil all over you? And then let it rest. It just needs a little nap. It's had a hard day. It just needs like two hours. So now I think it's probably a good time to start on the cheese. So for the cheese, I'm gonna use my plant-based milk maker and some cashews. You could just use a blender if you want. I'm gonna be using one cup of cashews to three cups of water, cold water. Now I know I keep switching between the metric system and imperial system with like cups and things. Is that imperial? Is that what it's called? I don't know, but I'm, I'm sorry. It's just what I'm used to. So I'm gonna be using about 500 milliliters of plant-based milk and we need another blender. So let's go ahead and bring in another blender, put the milk back into a different blender and use some starches here. That's what's gonna be the cheese. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of tapioca starch, two tablespoons of potato starch, Starch, and we're gonna use agar agar as like the thickener, the thing that like gels this up, along with some soy lecithin, which is gonna emulsify this all together. Now for some flavoring, I'm using my favorite mushroom seasoning. This stuff is like mushroom magic. It really is not magic mushrooms, but magic. Uh, we also need some nutritional yeast, some lactic acid. This is vegan. Uh, you don't need that much. That's why my spoon automatically rejected some of the stuff that was in there. We're also gonna be using some olive oil and then just blend this up. If you can get the lid on, come on. Get the freaking these lids are such a pain in the okay i love my blender i really do this is the best blender i've ever had but man these lids are something else so blend it up until it's nice and smooth now we just need to check the consistency you want to see you want it to be kind of thick it needs to stick to the back of a spoon if it comes out super watery which i assumed it would we're going to add some gum i'm going to be using some xanthan gum uh you just need a little bit we're going to just do a little at a time until it gets to the consistency that we want which is just like a slightly thicker kind of like imagine like a heavy cream so i'm just going to pour this into like an easy pourable bottle and just throw it in the fridge Give Give it some time to rest, it's gonna thicken up. Now it's time for a music change and our tomato sauce. So we're gonna be using Cento San Marzano tomatoes. It's my favorite to make pizza sauce. This one has the basil leaf in it. I really like the flavor it adds. So we're just gonna bring back the blender again. Oh my gosh, I've literally washed this thing like five times for this freaking video. Pour your tomatoes into the blender slowly cause look, I just got tomato sauce all over my shirt. This shirt is done after this video. Now this sauce is incredibly easy. You just need some olive oil, some salt, fresh cracked black pepper, my favorite mushroom season, I'll leave a link in the Amazon store below. Minced garlic, run around your kitchen looking for some sugar, realizing that you don't have any sugar and pop out the agave. It's gonna work just fine. We just need it a little sweet. It's pizza sauce, right? Now take out all your frustrations for the day on that lid and get it back on the blender. Pulse this up for just a moment and that's it. You're done. This is your sauce. It's really good. Hey gang, I wanna talk about something pretty close to me and today's sponsor. If you think you might be feeling depressed, stressed, anxious or overwhelmed, BetterHelp is here to help. I've recently been in a rut. I don't feel as confident in my work. I've been overworked. I'm stressed, burnt out, way burnt out. And I knew that I needed to seek help. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. With BetterHelp, you talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your convenience. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist networks that give you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. My therapist Natalie has been helping me become more aware of my negative thoughts. And really most of the negative thoughts that I have about my work are things that I'm making up about myself, which is, which is wild, like I mean, 
That's helped so much. <laughs> and with BetterHelp, you can request a new therapist anytime with no additional charge. So gang, join the two million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash saustash. That's better, H-E-L-P.com slash saustash. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to our pizza. The dough has done, it's been 20 minutes, it's rested, it's doubled in size. So we're just gonna pull this out onto our cutting board and we're gonna cut this in too. Now I'm just gonna grab another bowl. We're gonna oil both of the bowls again. We're gonna roll these up into smaller little dough balls. These are gonna be our pizzas. Once they're oiled up, throw them back in the bowl, cover them up and let them sit for about another 20 minutes in a nice warm place. And boop, it's done. That's been 20 minutes. So these doubled in size, we're just gonna roll them out and we're just gonna pull them into our pizza shape. Now for me, I just pull from the center and kind of try to pull into a circle. Now I didn't add any cornmeal to the bottom, so I screwed up. I threw the cornmeal on top and flipped it over. That kind of worked. Now we just need to add our sauce, our vegan cheese. This is the first one, the Mayoko's cheese that we're testing. I just want to see how good this is. I've never had it. Now, I sweated out some onions and cooked up some mushrooms, but then we also have our third topping, which everybody should use, pineapple. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to be like that. No, I'm not. I like pineapple on pizza and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm literally doing this to make you mad. You know who you are. Now, if you're going to be using a pizza peel, the trick is to be confident and just go for it. I wasn't confident enough and I screwed up. That's okay. So I had my oven preheated for 550 degrees and I just realized it was 550 p.m. Like, how cool is that? Now, the X it's the same as the entry. Be confident and go in for it. Man, it's stuck. I wasn't. I messed it up again. That's okay. I have another chance. So just bake that until the crust is how you want it and the cheese looks nice and melted. So let's start off right on the right foot on this one. We have the cornmeal all the way down on the bottom. We're just going to stretch this out from the center, put on our sauce, put on our cheese, put on all of our toppings. I'm not going to use the pineapple. Yes, I am because it's a good topping. Now let's check to see how the first pizza is doing. That looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it in for just another minute so that way the crust browns. Now here we go again. Can I do it this time? And yes. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. Now let's pull the other pizza out and oh my, I might have went a little too far. Ah, I had burnt a little bit. That's okay. Now let's just drop the other pizza in the oven. Let that one cook up. It's looking pretty good. I mean, they're not like perfect pizzas. Like I, I don't claim to be a master pizza maker. So let's do it. Here we go. Let's see what Monica has to say. So first up, let's try the Miyoko's. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Mm -hmm. The cheese tastes great. I really like it. I don't even notice anything weird about the pizza. Yeah, it's a really good tasting cheese. I'm enjoying it. Nice and melty, mm -hmm. nice and soft. Great, Very great, good. great vegan cheese. So I'm glad it wasn't weird like, like Monica said, but uh, now let's try out my cheese and see what we have. Mm. <laughs> mm, very good. I mean, it'll taste pretty much the same. Um, I can't really notice much of a difference. I mean, it's really good. I almost like it a little better. So I will say I was surprised about how good my version of the cheese came out. I wish I would have added a little bit more to my pizza, but you know what? It still came out really good and it was incredibly flavorful. Uh, it, it almost had like a pinch more flavor. Like Monica said, she had it. She liked this one just a little bit better. Um, either way, they're both very similar. You're gonna enjoy this style of cheese for your pizza. Oh, and if you really go nuts about the pineapple, I'm sorry about instigating you.